Hello, this is Eric at the Prince Short Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2019 Ram 3500 in a limited trim and powered by a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel inline six, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and four by fouring. Coming with a level kit installed, so you do have some extra height in the front. You have power deployable running boards down below, so you can have an easier time getting in. Lockable side storage on the bed of the truck with uh, tie down rails in the bed. And then let's take a look inside. First looking into the back, we have very spacious seating for three with a nice full leather interior. It can be lifted up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo. You have this flip out uh, cargo platform like so. And underneath that you have some storage compartments. And then under your mats here, you do have some pretty deep cargo bins as well for uh, organizing all of your stuff, storage and stuff like that. And in the middle you have fold-out armrests with two cup holders, as well as having two more in the middle here, with two USBs, two USB-Cs, heated rear seats, 115 volt power outlet, and two more cup holders right there. This truck does have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks, as well as two memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, and possibly also your pedals and your mirrors. Now sitting in the truck with it running, you can see it's sitting at 45,889 kilometers. And moving down to the steering wheel, on the right hand side you have your cruise controls with distance pacing technology, then your manual gear shift buttons so you can shift through your gears. Uh, to the left you have your hands-free phone controls as well as your controls for your center info screen here. So you can cycle through information such as a digital speedometer, all of your vehicle info, so service info and current stats. And then moving down, you have your driver assistance features and settings, fuel economy, trip info for trip A and B, trailer tow status, currently playing, messages such as warnings, and screen setup in general. You also have your hands-free uh, radio controls on the back side of the steering wheel, as you can see. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is Radio Sirius um, CD, auxiliary, and... USB and Bluetooth, so you have some options there for whatever you want to listen to. You have your digital climate controls with dual zone front climate, so you can stay comfortable at different temperatures, as well as having heated and air conditioned front seats and a heated steering wheel, so you can stay comfortable no matter the weather or climate. And then you have apps such as uh, where you can access all of your settings and controls in one convenient spot. You have your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels. And then you have your Bluetooth phone controls and your settings for your screen and some other features around your vehicle. But then shifting into reverse, you do also have a backup camera so you can see where you're going. Then above that, you have a 12 volt power outlet and you do have a premium Alpine sound system, so your audio is going to sound pretty decent. Moving down, you have your media controls with your hazards and your traction control shut off. And then your physical climate controls here with dual zone front climate again, but also heated and air conditioned front seats and a heated steering wheel. Um, and then down below that, you have your trailer brake controller, diesel exhaust brake, tow haul mode button, and your front and rear park assist sensor shut off. To the left, you have your 4x4 controls. And then moving down here, you have two USBs, two USB-Cs, your auxiliary CD player, and then you have your center console area here with two cup holders, you know, cubby area there. And then this can be slid out of the way entirely to access your kind of phone holder area here with a wireless charging pad. So you can throw your phone on there to charge with a 115 volt power outlet down here too. And you can slide this back forward and you have your center compartment slash armrest with a USB inside, and then you open this up further for even more storage in here. And of course, this is where this goes when you move it out of the way. Um, then looking back, you have a power sliding rear window, like so. And last but not least, you do have a power moonroof up top so you can land the sunshine, but that should cover our look at the interior. So now if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.